You're welcome back and many thanks for staying with us. Now, the Ghana Anti-Corruption Coalition says Joe Garte should not have been chair of the ad hoc committee. Executive Secretary Beauty Emma Nate tells Joy News that he could have been a member but not a chairperson. She says his position must not compromise the outcome of the investigation into the bribery scandal. She cites the judicial, judiciary investigating itself during the corruption scandal as examples, saying because its work, its work was not biased, the outcome was accepted by all, leading to the Chief Justice's t uh, action to sack some of the judges. She's been speaking with Hannah Odami. Ideally, we have expected that SHRA should be the institution that investigates this matter because the law mandates SHRA as an organization um, to be able to investigate issues of corruption. Even if it is suspected corruption, Shrad has the mandate to investigate. So ideally, we're expecting Shrad to have taken this matter up. But once um, Parliament has been able to set up a committee, we are believing that the committee should be able to work with integrity. Because the, this is Parliament's um, integrity at stake. What do you make of this member of uh, the committee that's also going to be part of the vetting process? I think that I have a little problem with um, Honorable Jogate being the chair. If he was just an, a member of the committee, um, I would, would think that that was okay. But once he is the chair, he takes lead and he's now going to investigate the same committee that he's facing, which I thought was problematic. And it also gives the indication that parliament may not have enough people to do this work. We have um, 275 constituencies, which means we have 275 parliamentarians. So I don't think that parliament will not be able to get five people who will not be a part of the vetting committee. So I thought, I'm not sure why, what informed the decision to involve somebody who is also going to face the same committee. That I'm not sure what, why, what, what, why that was done. So you say Jogati shouldn't have been part of this committee in the first place, right? No, I, I, I mean he shouldn't even be the chair. He, if he was just a member of the committee, that, that was bad, but as a chair of the committee, that I am not comfortable with. Pepe, what you're saying, are you suggesting then that uh, the outcome will already be compromised even before it comes out? Not, not necessarily. What it means is that now parliament has a higher standard to uphold and we are expecting that even though the committee has been set up we are expecting that the outcome should be something that will not create any doubt in anybody's mind that the outcome is compromised because if it happens that way it will be very unfortunate and parliament uh, will lose that credibility that it has with the Ghanaian citizens are you then expecting a particular outcome that if you do not get you say that well it's because uh, Joe Gatti is the chairman of this ad hoc committee the, the outcome I'm, I am expecting is the truth, and truth is only one. Let's talk about this issue of bribery amongst parliamentarians. Uh, we've heard of it mm -hmm. several over the years, but we haven't heard of such instance as we are hearing now. Mm -hmm. Does that bring to the fore that those ones we've been hearing are, is true, were true? Mm -hmm. And then how do you think parliament can clean itself of these allegations and rumors that we've been hearing over the years about uh, bribery? You know, um, as, as I said earlier, we, we have heard all these rumors, and I thought that this is an, the opportune moment for Parliament to take advantage of um, the situation and clear every doubt. We cannot, um, until you are proven guilty, you cannot conclude. Um, that a, a, a suspect is innocent until proven guilty. So we want to know what actually happened and this will inform us of what um, to do in terms of our advocacy steps. Madam BT, there with the uh, uh, coalition of anti-corruption campaigners here in the country. Well, uh, we'll have our own uh, special post poll, and today we'll be telling you what people on social media think, whether about the committee sitting, whether or not it should be live, uh, telecast live, 
to boost transparency, as some people have said. You're still watching Pulse. We'll take a very quick break, but just so you know, tonight the Black Stars will be in action. They'll be playing Cameroon in the semi final game of the Africa Cup of Nation tournaments that's uh, ongoing. They'll be playing at Stade de Franceville. Uh, in Gabon, we will be we will be having a conversation, you know, in a build up to that particular game right here in the studio with our in-house sports experts. You don't want to miss that.